Hey y'all, welcome back to Ukulele Wine Time. My name is Catherine. Today we're gonna learn how to play What a Wonderful World. Let's do it. Ukulele Wine Time. We'll be playing What a Wonderful World in the key of C today. Please note the original key is F if you've been listening to the Louis Armstrong, Louis, recording. Uh, the original composers were George Weiss and Bob Thiel. Good to know. In this video, I'm going to walk you through each section of the song. I'll put the chords and the lyrics up on the screen for you so you can follow along. We'll do a little bit of counting. I'll show you a couple different strumming pattern options so you can choose what's best for you at this moment in time. We will talk starting pitch. So if you're singing and playing this song, you'll always know where to start. We'll have a wine break because this is ukulele wine time. Cheers. And then we'll also do a full run through of the song. If you need a chord review, um, and this song you might need a slower chord review of these chords because there's quite a few in this song. It's more of an intermediate song. That's gonna be at the end. Check out the timestamps below to jump around as needed. I'm also gonna include a couple fun facts about this song at the end. I was reading some fun facts on the internet about this song and I just wanted to share them with you. So if you're interested, check that out as well. If you're new here, my name is Catherine. I have my master's degree in music from the University of North Texas. I'm also a music teacher. I've been playing and teaching ukulele for over 10 years and I'm happy you're here. Before we dive in, there are a few important notes about the song we need to take a look at. That is the key, the time signature, and the form. So key, I said this earlier, but we're gonna learn this in the key of C. The original Louis Armstrong version is in the key of F. We're playing this in four, four time. However, the original chord recording has kind of an underlying 12, eight feel, which I'm gonna talk about a little later in when we talk about strumming patterns. But for our purposes, we're gonna keep it nice and simple and just use four, four time, which means our heartbeat or pulse of the song is in four, four beats per measure. That's gonna help us out with counting. Form, uh, we've got a simple A, A, B, A form, or you could also say verse, verse, bridge, verse. There's a little, uh, the ending is just a little bit different and I will go over that as well. And with that, let's jump into the verse. So we're gonna check out the first four chords of the verse, the first little section here. Um, so we've got C, E minor, F, back to E minor. And the lyrics that go over that, you can line up the word trees with your C chord. I, I see trees of green, red roses too. And each of those chords gets two beats. So if we are counting it, we've got C two, E minor two, F two, E minor. It's our first section, let's move on to the next line. So we've got um, D minor, C, E7, A minor. Each of those also gets two beats. Let's hear that with the lyrics and then we'll count it. Three, four, I see them bloom for me and you. Let's count that real fast, we've got Three, four, D minor, C two, E seven two, A minor two, and I think. All right, so let's put those um, that first section together, and then we'll move on to our A flat chord. Okay, from the top, here we go. One, two, three. I see trees of green. and then we hit our A flat chord there. Okay, let's take a look at this next section. So we're gonna hang out on this A flat chord a little bit longer. Um, and I'm playing a simplified version of this A flat. Um, it's just a G, normal G shape, shifted down one fret to the third fret. Um, more on that in the chord review at the end. So we've got an A flat chord for four beats, then we've got D minor, 
G7, and then C. And now these are all two beats per chord. We'll count that in a sec. C, and then C augmented. F to G7. Two, three, four. Let's go back to think to myself. What a wonderful world. F to G7. I see skies. And then we're in verse two. So I, um, if you've seen my videos before, um, I bold the lyrics for you where they line up with the chords. Now, the way Louis Armstrong, Louis, sings this is so conversational, lots of push and pull. So I've chosen to give us some word anchors, what I like to call them, where we line up that lyric or that word with the chord, some word anchors that may not match exactly with the song, but you don't want to sing it exactly like Louis Armstrong. You want to sing it like you. So um, I've kind of chosen some places there to help us line up the chords with the lyrics. So I just wanted to kind of mention that note that it's not going to be exactly the way the re original recording is. Verse two, the chords are exactly the same until we get to the last little bit there. So we've got, um, I see skies of blue clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, this is the same so far, what a wonderful world. Now this is simpler than our first, what we'll call the first ending, we can call this the second ending. Um, we've got C. So let's go back to um, think to myself, D minor, two, G, seven, C, two, F, two, C, two, three, four, the colors, and then we're into the bridge. And here are the chords you will need for the bridge. So you'll need G7, C, a minor, E minor, there we go. <laughs> uh, you'll need a D flat diminished chord. Do not fear this chord, it's only two fingers. Uh, and as well as a D minor chord. And for the ending of the song, you'll just need two additional chords. It's an E half diminished chord and an A7 chord. And that's it. Let's take a look at the bridge next. So for the first, so this is also eight bars. So for the first half, we're cycling back and forth between G7, C, G7, C. So that's the first half and each of those chords gets four beats. Let's put that with some lyrics. So we're gonna line up the word colors with our G7 chord and the word pretty with our C chord. Then we've got also with G7 and people with our C chord. Let's line that up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. The colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people going by. That's our first half of the bridge. Second half, we've got A minor, E minor. Now we're going back to two beats per chord. So we've got A minor, E minor, then you do that again. A minor, E minor. Then, let's just do that much and then I'll show you the last little bit. So we've got friends shaking hands. So friends is A minor, hands is E minor. And then we've got saying, how do you do? How and do line up with your A minor and E minor chords. That together is, I see friends shaking hands. Saying, how do you do? 
And then this last measure, got one chord per beat. So check this out. We've got D minor, D flat diminished, D minor, G7. With the lyrics, this is what that sounds like. It's nice because you can line up the I love you with those three chords. So I lines up with D minor, love lines up with D flat diminished, and then U is back to D minor, and then you just get to add a lovely G7 to close that out. Let's put the bridge, let's put it all together and play through the bridge nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? to the last verse. Let's keep going. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Here's where our ending is different. Okay, so all the verse three or our last A section has been the same up, up till now. When we hit world on our C. Okay, and now here's our ending. C two, E half diminished, two, and then two, A seven, two, three, four. Let me do that again for you. So, uh, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself. That's a D minor on think to myself and then stay there. D minor to G7. What a wonderful world. And you can just end there on C or you can go C to F to C for a nice little simple ending. That's it. You made it through the entire song. Well done. Next up, let's talk strumming. So I've been showing um, the chords in this song with just a simple down stroke. And as always, that's a perfectly acceptable, beautiful, simple way to play through a song. So if that's where you're at right now and you're still getting these chords under your fingers, that's totally okay and it's gonna sound great. So we've got a simple down stroke, one per chord. If you want to add more rhythm from there, you can add additional downstrokes. So that would sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that will go, um, you can do that for the whole song as well. Option number two for strumming is just a nice and simple down, down, up. So this pattern would happen one time each on the chords that happen for two beats. So that first section there, we've got C, E minor. Okay, so one pattern per chord. Then when you hold the chords longer for four beats, like when we get to our A flat, you'll do the pattern two times. Down, down, up, down. Down, up, back to one pattern each. 
Option three is a very basic finger picking pattern. And this is gonna uh, show more of that 12 8 feel that I mentioned earlier that's kind of underlying on the recording. So we're gonna use our first four fingers here, not your pinky. Each finger, starting with your thumb, gets a string. Okay, so starting with your top string down. And our pattern is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going down the strings and then back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you switch chords. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And if you're curious where that 12, eight comes from, so you would be technically counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. But we're not gonna count to 12, but just if you were like, where is that 12 coming from? That's where it's coming from. So feel free to start with the basic, just downstroke. You can um, add more rhythm from there. Double, double your downstrokes or do the down, down, up. You can also try this very basic finger picking. And now y'all have probably heard me say this before um, if you see my videos, but I love mixing and matching strumming patterns. So you could plan out your own arrangement of the song, maybe start with the basic downstrokes, maybe verse two is something different, adding more downstrokes. Um, maybe the bridge is the finger picking pattern or you go to down, down, up. So really the possibilities are endless there. So have fun creating your own version, your own arrangement of this awesome song. On that note, I think it's time for our wine break. Y'all have been working really hard. I see you out there. So I wanna say cheers to you. And cheers to your creativity. This song is a great, need a little more, more wine, please, excuse me. <laughs> this song is a great one to learn on the ukulele. There's my bottle, y'all. You'll have people singing along with you. Maybe you're playing this for somebody else to brighten their day. Either way, um, I hope you, you're enjoying learning this song with me. And it's so cool that you're taking time out of your day to play some music, play an instrument, get a little bit creative, and maybe you're joining me for a glass of wine, maybe you're not, hey. Wine's always optional, we like to hydrate here too. <laughs> Ukulele wine time. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, I hope you cheers the like button below um, and subscribe to my channel for more great ukulele content. Um, it's a great way to help out creators like myself. If you're like, I wanna go even further and support you and what you're doing. You can join me on Patreon by becoming a patron, um, either a supporter or you can join Ukulele Wine Club, which is so much fun. Um, we meet every other Thursday to play a song, meet up, we talk about challenges, we talk about ukulele wins, just get creative together. Um, and then you also get all of the PDF uh, chord and lyric charts. You get to vote on upcoming tutorials and there's lots of bonuses on uh, Patreon there, including play alongs on bass and drums and lots of other goodies. So if you're interested in that, also you can come drink wine with us if you want or water. <laughs> if you're interested in that, check out the link below um, and maybe you'll we'll see you at Ukulele Wine Club. This next section is for my singers out there who are singing and playing the ukulele at the same time. That is awesome if you are doing that. So we're gonna talk starting pitch next. So we are in the key of C and our starting pitch is a G for the verses. I see trees. So it's G, 
B, C, or five, seven, one, or so, T, do. So there's a couple different ways you can look at it. Um, so we've got do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, so, ti, do. Or if we do numbers, we've got one, even a little out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One or eight, seven, six, five, five, seven, one. G, B, C. A couple different ways to look at it there. So if you wanna find it on the strings of your ukulele, um, you do have the high G here. If you've got a low G string, that'll be perfect. If you've got a high string, fear not, just sing it an octave lower. And it's the fourth fret on the G string for the second note. I see trees. And you can really check yourself on the C string with the word trees. Same for all the verses. Um, the bridge, slightly different. The, you can start on a C for the colors. The word colors is a D. The colors, so it's C, D, or Do, Re, or one, two. And if you want to play those notes on your ukulele, it's open C string, and then same string, second fret. And those are your starting pitches. It's time for our play along of the entire song. By the way, for an intro, if you wanna um, add one, you can play C2, G7, 2, C, and then G7, I see trees. That's a nice little intro you can tack on the beginning. All right, we're gonna do the full song, the whole song, um, A, A, B, A, with our ending on there. Let's do it. One, two, three, four.
What a wonderful world I really enjoyed playing this song with you. How did it go? Um, I just, this was a request from Ukulele Wine Club and I love that this one came up. Um, they voted for this song and I was more than happy to make this tutorial for, for y'all. So I hope that you enjoyed this, um, playing this together. Please go play it with somebody else in your life and share that. Um, I also wanted to share some of these fun facts about the song that I mentioned earlier. So first of all, this was ranked by Rolling Stone uh, in the top 500 best songs of all time. So I love that, that's awesome. So you're playing one of the 500 best songs of all time. Good one to learn. Um, the composer, one of the composers, George Weiss, says he wrote this song specifically for Louis Armstrong um, as he was inspired by his ability to bring people, bring together people of different races. So I loved thinking about that as I was learning the song. And then uh, a little bit more about the actual recording session. So the recording session happened after a performance. So he was playing a gig at the Tropicana Hotel in Las Vegas. I am Louis Armstrong. Um, wanted to record the song nearby, so they went to a recording session after this gig. So you can imagine the gig ended late. Go straight to the recording session. Um, his it's followed. Oh yeah, his show was at midnight. So yeah, super late. Um, two a.m. They start the recording session. Play a show. Pumped up. Go to the recording studio. Two a.m. You start the recording session. Um, he's there with his orchestra and. The session went from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. And the reason, one of the reasons why it lasted so long was there were freight train trains passing nearby and the train whistle, maybe they didn't have, you know, great soundproofing in studios back then, but um, the nearby freight train whistles interrupted the session twice. So they had to start the recording over. So I thought that was just I live near a train, so I just thought that was interesting. Um, but apparently Armstrong just laughed it off, as you can imagine, his just like, you know, bubbly self. Um, totally kept his composure, kept the session going. Another fact from the recording session that I loved, um, so the session went longer than expected. Um, he only took just the regular union member, uh, musicians union member fee, making sure, therefore, that he wasn't paid as the like, main artist, but that his band got paid more, which for their overtime, that's a long day, a gig and a recording session. Anyway, I thought that was a fun fact. I liked thinking about that as I was listening to the recording. By the way, please check out, there are lots of great recordings of this song, so be sure to check out just different artists doing this song. It's always great to get those different sounds in your ears um, and really get some ideas as you're coming up with your own version. All right, with that, um, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon in the next video for more ukulele wine time. Cheers. Ukulele wine time. This is the chord overview section of this video. So if you need a walkthrough of the chords, you're in the right spot. We'll start with our basic C major chord. So our ukulele fingers, we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna use our third finger, our ring finger on the third fret, one, two, three, for our C chord. Next up, we've got E minor. So this is a three finger chord diagonal on the fretboard. So these three fingers, let's start with our ring finger on the fourth fret, one, two, three, four. And here you're on your C string. And then your middle finger is on the third fret on the next string. And then your pointer finger, your first finger is on the second fret on your A string. Is our E minor. Next up, we've got F, that's a two finger chord. Middle finger is on the second fret on your top string or your G string. Um, skip a string and first finger, first fret. There's our F chord. E, uh, let's see, what's up next? We've got D minor next. So this is another 
three finger chord. So um, let's start with our ring finger and our middle finger. So these are middle finger is on your G string on the second fret. Right next to that in the same fret is your ring finger. Then your pointer finger is on the first fret on the third string down, or your E string. There's your D minor chord. Next up we have E7, another three finger chord. There's E7. Okay, so let's start with, um, these are middle and our ring finger again, so they're on the second fret with a string in between them. So middle finger, second fret, C string, skip a string, ring finger, same fret on your A string. And then your first finger reaches all the way across over here to the first fret um, to your G string. There's your E7 chord. Uh, up next we have, let's see, A minor. That's a one finger chord, so we can use your middle finger or your second finger, second fret. Or an A minor chord. And that's on the, I'm oh, sorry, the G string. A minor. Next up we have our A flat chord. So if you've got an A flat chord, it does involve a bar, a mini bar, but I'm gonna show you a simplified version that will work perfectly well for this song. So first of all, if you wanna try the bar version, so we're on the third fret here, okay, with your um, pointer finger, and you're going to bar, okay, those bottom three strings. And then your middle finger comes on the fourth fret on the E string, and then your ring finger stretches all the way across on the fifth fret um, of your uh, G string. So that's one version of the A flat chord. I play a simpler version in this video and it's the G shape just shifted down a set, uh, a fret. So here, so we've got, so our normal G chord starts here on the second fret. We're just shifting it down and then we have an open string here. So let me show you this shape. Makes a little triangle on the fretboard. So starting with our peace sign fingers on the third fret, okay, on your C string and your A string, and then your middle finger goes on the fourth fret and this on the string you skipped, and you've got an open string for a more of an A flat major seven sound, but that will work just fine for this song. Better chord for beginners, you can work up to the bar chord. Let's keep going, we've got our G7. We talked about a triangle on the fretboard, this is a tri the triangle the other way with the point on top. First finger, first fret, your E string, and then your middle and ring finger on uh, the C and the A string on the second fret. There's our G7 chord. Last up for the verse, we have a C augmented. So you play your C major chord and then you're gonna add a note or a, a string onto that. First finger, first fret, G string. That is our augmented chord. And you're changing the G to a G sharp. So the augmented chord is a major chord with a sharp fifth. Next, let's, let's take a look at that D flat diminished. This is a two chord, uh, so a two finger chord, P sign fingers, both on the first fret, skipping a string in the middle, C string and your A string. Okay, so that's our D flat diminished. And that, use that on the bridge. And then we just have two chords left. You're almost there. We've got an E half diminished or an E minor seven flat five. So it's an E half diminished, same thing. Okay, so another two finger chord. So your middle finger or second finger is on the second fret of your C string. Then skip a string, first finger, first fret of your A string. For that sound. And then last up, ooh, finishing with a nice one finger chord for our A7. So that's first finger on the first fret, C string. 
All right, y'all, that's all the chords. I hope you found that helpful and I will see you soon. Cheers. Ukulele wine time.